Previously on Beyond Two Souls. In the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And everything's fucked. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night. Stay in your room. No matter what you hear. done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Hello YouTube, my name is Blinky Cab and welcome to another episode of Blinky Cab Let's Play. It's Beyond Two Souls. I'm continuing right where we left off. Voodoo shit all around us. Let's keep going. You remember Ashley? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? I need to figure out how to go forward. Do I press forward on the left analog stick? Oh, sort of, yep. Oh, he's a bit sporadic. Am I going outside this? Okay. Hey, what do you think, Ashki? We're doing pretty good, huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over the pasture to tend the churros. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go. Yeah. R2 is okay. Let's get moving. Alright, so by day they live normal lives, and then by night they've got to lock themselves in the house because Yaitso, the evil spirit, comes who's after blood. And that seems to be the cycle. Happy, normal life by day, evil demon spirit by night. <laughs> and they just live their lives like this. I have a feeling it's my calling to save them. Because I've got a spirit of my own, baby. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy, Tiger. Oh, you got beautiful churros. I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. Okay. Often. Now we'll do spectres. And the ghosts that surround the house. Do you know who they are? My father says five spirit guardians have always protected our tribe. They come at night to prevent you so from killing us. I don't know if it's true, but Yeetso has never managed to get into our house. Hmm. So those guys, the blue spirit guys, are actually there to protect Does us. Does the spirit come every night? It'll come for many nights, and then it won't show up for months. But it always ends up coming back. My turn to ask you some questions. Okay. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. Oh, let's tell him the truth. I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? Yeah, let's tell him the truth. I am. Um... Yeah. 
I have to tell you something. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. Where's the well? It's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. <coughs> I'll see you back at the ranch. Okay. See you later. All right, ciao. Time for another horse ride adventure. Come on, Ashkey. Let's go check out the well. Maybe there's a boy down the well. Oh my god. There's a boy trapped down the well. He's drinking all the water. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, I've been pretty honest this whole game. And, like, any time it gives me the option to lie or tell the truth, I've generally, I think, told the truth. Mainly because I want to know what the truth is. But also, I, I think it's her character, to, to be honest. I mean, she's got this whole entity secret that, you know, has caused a lot of trouble in her life. But, I don't know. There's a comfort there that she gets from just, you know, telling people the truth. Because they know something's up anyway, so to lie about it's only going to make her look like a liar. <laughs> ah, okay. Time to use Iden to get that whatever's stuck in the in the windmill. Here we go. What? Oh. A little bit of a flag there. Boom! Oh yeah! The pump's running again. That was awesome. All right. Stop doing that! All right, screw it. I'm going over there. Is he real or am I seeing? It's creepy. Oh, what's this? What the hell is in here? Okay, it's pretty dark. Ah, it's the anal beads again. Is there anything else to inspect in here? No, just the beads. That was it. Okay, that was all there was. Okay. Something's gonna happen when I go outside then. Holy wow! Man, she's been smoking peyote. Oh, it's creepy. Did he write something in the sand? Does it say crown again? That's what it said in the shower. What does that mean? Oh, groan? No, crown. What? Oh no, no. Don't lead me to a cave. Don't do it. It definitely says crown, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I'm tripping. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Let's take it head on. We'll have some courage about us, and we'll do it together, Ashkey. We'll go together to the creepy cave that the voodoo spirit directed us to, because that sounds like the safest, the safest option to do right now. Slow it down, Ashki. I don't want to rush into a trap. Ooh, it's gonna lead me... Lead me somewhere? What is that? There's something bright over there, reflecting the light. I saw it. Did you see it? I saw it. Is it a crown? Go, 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 go. I saw it. The camera's fixated on it. Fort Crown? Fort Crown. Why have I been brought here? Oh, okay. Crown's a location. Oh, there's lots of sparkly things here. What is it? Can you see anything, Aiden? Yeah, what's that? It's a sword. Oh, here we go. We can um, get the memories from it. That's so cool. Okay. What happened here? Right, so that sort of dates back to old school times. Massacred the soldiers in the fort. Mm hmm. Could it be Yato? I think so. Is there any other artifacts I can get memory memories back on? Oh, there's a, a rifle here. It's him, all right. It's the Eto. I have to find that. The forked tree. How did you get out of that? All right. So Yato has been like killing people here for a long time. Where's this tree, though? Where am I going? That wasn't me, that was the horse. I pressed forward and he did a 180. Um, why did she say fork tree? The screen was really dark then for me and I couldn't... Ah, oh, so many questions. Is that the way I came? Yeah, so... Hmm. Ooh, the ash key can't go through there. Oh, I can't get off the horse anymore. Okay. Sorry, sorry for um, stalling the game here a little bit. But where are we going? To the forked tree. Okay. I reckon we go this way. At least there's some beautiful scenery for you to look at. Look at it, it's beautiful. And it's weird to think that the PlayStation 4 is out now, so this game is probably one of the last beautiful PlayStation 3 games that they'll be. Because all the game developers now are going to be making games for PS4, so soak it in while it lasts. 
Because it does look beautiful. Here it is, the forked tree. Do I need to cut it down, maybe? Hmm. There's nothing here. Maybe Arden can see something. Can, I... can you see something, Arden? Ooh. Jesus, what is that? What the hell is that? Voodoo. under the sand under the dirt sand dirt whatever it is oh it's the mask ghosts we're wearing these ritual masks This part of the game is so trippy. It's like a whole tangent storyline. This one has no talisman. Or is there a connection somehow? I don't know. I can't see how there is going to be. Oh, who's... Is that Paul? That's baby Paul. They took the talisman off him, yep, and they gave it to Paul. He put it around the baby's neck. And that's why Yato keeps coming. Help me, Aiden. I've got to see what happened. Okay. Am I right? Was the baby Paul? Oh, no, it was the grandmother. It all went by too fast. I didn't understand it. All mixed up. It's as if something's missing. I'll show the talismans to Paul. Yeah. Maybe he'll know something. They'll have one. The grandma will have a talisman. And that's why... That's why Yato's coming. Whoa, is he coming now? It's daytime. Or is that just a regular sandstorm? Okay, where do we go? Whoa, we have to go towards it. She made it back to the <laughs> the farm pretty quickly. Go, 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 go. She wearing it around her neck. Yes, she is. Give it up, bitch. Get into the grandma. She's the key. Give me that talisman, bitch. Sorry. It's like it. It's the one that was on that baby. Mother gave it to me. Well, she's talking. Like her mother, we 
fall. She also will give me this. Ah, oh, there it is. See what happens. This is where it all began. Need to watch carefully. Remember every detail. Okay, there's five guys doing some weird chant. Then Yato. It's like they chanted up Yato. They summoned him. Your ancestors. They summoned Yato here. They were lost. Full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit. Kill their enemies. And gain revenge. Against them. He was still hungry. Hungry for blood. Yea, it's all is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were robbed, so they returned to protect us from the evil that they released. They brought that entity here. I mean, there's got to be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost in the past. But I remember it. I remember what it is. It. It's a sick man in the dirt with a person the ritual in my vision. at each point. Look, I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. All right, quick, Jody. Let's move with haste. Let's send Yato back to hell. Draw it up. A fire. I have to make a fire in the front of the house. All right. I'm guessing we're gonna need the wood, maybe even the hay that I got down. Maybe not. Maybe just a fuel can. This is intense. This is intense. I'm really enjoying this now. I was a bit weirded out by the whole working on the farm thing, but I'm really enjoying this now. I don't know. Trust me. I don't know how the storyline fits in. The storm is coming. Shumasani. You, you can talk. <laughs> go, Jody. Go. Uh, no, it was a man. So X. It was a stick man. That's it. At each point, that's where they stood. There. That's exactly right. Well, quick! Oh, everyone's gonna come over. Now each of you needs to stand next to a talisman. There must be a soul attached to each one. Where's so Paul? Iden! Can Iden be the fifth soul? Fuck! Fuck! We need one more soul! No, nah, Iden's. Yeah, it is Iden. Is it really? That's it! Iden's got a soul! 
Wow, that's epic. It's working. The passage is open. Here he comes! That's it! Send it back! Send it back! Go on. Go on. Push him in. Go. Push him in. Did he not go back in? Did he go in or did he escape? What the hell? I'm confused. <laughs> he must have gone in. It looked like he like flew off to the sky. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Jody. God, is she dead? I'm not feeling a sense of gratification right now. I'm feeling confused. Was I not doing it right with Aiden? I didn't feel like I was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I wish I could have helped you. I feel like I fucked everything up. You helped us to understand what happened. That's a lot. We're gonna continue to live with this thing. Well, I failed. And hope that one day it will go back to where it came from. What about you? Where are you gonna go now? I don't know. No, I... I always thought my gift was a curse. I was beginning to think maybe I could use it to help people. These last few days showed me it's not that simple. Damn it! I stuffed it! Somehow, I ruined it and... I didn't send him back! You didn't think you were just going to walk, did you? It took me some time, but I managed to get it going again. Take it. It's yours. Even though I... Thank you. I didn't send him back, even though I failed? You're going to give me a motorcycle? Alright, let's start this bad boy up. Sounds good. Ah, at least the grandma's not dead. Neither is Paul. Well, they're all alive, but I feel bad for not not having sent Yaito back. That was epic. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> I feel a little bit embarrassed, to be honest. All right, thanks for watching me, guys. I'm going to end it here. Catch me in the next episode, and I'll catch you in the next episode too. Wow. See you later.